You may not have heard about Apophis, however, you can assure that you will hear a lot about it in the next few years. You're more likely to hear about Apophis as April 2029 approaches, because that's when the asteroid will pass near Earth by the slightest of sharp margins. The space rock is expected to pass at a distance of around 20,000 miles, or around one-tenth of the distance between Earth and the Moon. To say this is too close for comfort would be an understatement. Apophis is exciting, but it's not frightening. In today's video, we'll talk about what can happen if Apophis hit the Earth in 2029, and all the latest news around it. But before we start, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay connected. Apophis is a dangerous asteroid. It is very close to Earth in orbit, which means it orbits the Sun at 1.3 times the distance between the Sun and Earth. Apophis 99942 is its full name. After Apophis was found in 2004, it was given a 2.7% chance of impacting Earth in 2029, prompting widespread media coverage. However, Apophis will pass closer to Earth than our own Earth orbit satellite system in 2029 generating considerable public attention. Apophis will pass Earth on April 13, 2029, at a distance of up to 29,600 kilometers, which is about 19,000 miles. If you are superstitious, that would be on Friday the 13th. Apophis will not be visible to everyone in 2029. If you live in Australia, Southern Asia, Southern Europe, or Africa, you will be able to view this asteroid at its brightest. The asteroid becomes visible in eastern South America as it moves away from Earth and it dims. As night falls along North America's east coast, the asteroid will be a telescopic object located around 15 degrees north of the Pleiades. The asteroid's ephemeris is now available. Apophis was found on the evening of June 19, 2004 by astronomers at Kitt Peak National Observatory near Tucson, Arizona. Dave Thielon, Fabrizio Bernardi, and the late Roy Tucker were part of a team looking for asteroids in the western sky. They were primarily hunting for things that faced the sun. The asteroid they discovered was first known as 2004 MN4. It was 57 degrees from the sun, which is remarkable for an asteroid. Apophis's orbit can be dangerously close to the Earth. This revelation soon drew the attention of astronomers all across the world. By December 2004, they had collected enough data to create a preliminary estimate of the asteroid's future trajectory. They discovered that it had a 2.7% chance of colliding with Earth in April 2029, on Friday the 13th. Apophis was moved to the top of the list of possible hazardous asteroids the very same month. In 2004, scientists predicted that the asteroid had a good chance of hitting Earth. Observations and computations have since ruled out the idea. While most space rocks that enter the Earth's atmosphere burn up due to friction, when an asteroid hits the Earth, several factors come into play that decide how much damage it can actually cause. These characteristics include the object's size, mass, and angle of entry into the atmosphere. There's no question regarding Apophis' size and mass. Today, the asteroid is around 885 feet across and has a mass of 2.1 times 10 to the 10th power kilograms. If those numbers are useless to you, consider the following real-world example. The asteroid that produced Arizona's meteor crater is thought to have erupted with a force of 3 to 10 megatons of energy. If Apophis strikes, it will most likely deliver 880 megatons of energy. The atomic bomb unleashed on Hiroshima only discharged roughly 0.15 megatons of energy. Now that we know how much harm Apophis may do, Let's look at some real-world examples of what happens when it strikes. It goes without saying that where it impacts will influence how much harm it does. The asteroid will crush thousands of square kilometers of land wherever it crashes if it hits land. If it reaches a major metropolis, such as London, it will level the city, killing millions of people. Consider what happened in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, if all of that seems exaggerated. In all situations, a nuclear weapon releasing a fraction of the energy of Pophos would most likely explode over the cities, killing approximately 300,000 people. Apophis would have a much higher magnitude of energy than either the Hiroshima or Nagasaki weapons. Fortunately, the chances of it striking a populated region are low. In fact, given the seas cover over 75% of the Earth's surface, the chances of it impacting land are slim. So, statistically speaking, Apophis is most likely to land in the ocean. If you've ever tossed a rock into a cam lake, you've probably noticed small ripples stretching out in all directions. 
The displacement of water and the resulting wave patterns are all real-world illustrations of fundamental physics concepts that you may experience every single day. Consider a huge rock like Apophis hitting the ocean. Today, they will also send out rippling waves in all directions, and those ripples will likely cause disastrous tsunamis on numerous continents. Given that coastal cities house a sizable portion of the human population, the death toll might be impossible to understand. Scientist Neil deGrasse Tyson warned that a tsunami, or series of tsunamis caused by Apophis landing in the Pacific Ocean, might wipe away North America's west coast. So what happens is that all of the artificial stuff, all of the houses, all of the factories, they all get churned into the ablative force that sandblasts the entire west coast of North America clean. Another long-term effect of an asteroid impacting Earth is the destructions of major cities and coastlines. Asteroid impacts have caused climate change in some circumstances by kicking up so much dust and debris into the atmosphere. Perhaps the most famous example of this is the so-called KT asteroid hit, which caused such extreme climate change that it led to an extinction of most dinosaurs 60 million years ago. But this asteroid was far larger than Apophis. Today, this particular space rock is unlikely to generate enough debris to trigger long-term climate impact. However, climate disruption induced by the Apophis hit is a huge possibility. The specialists have varied interpretations of this scenario. It might potentially produce a comparable, short-term phase of climate change. We may know, or believe, that we will be safe from Apophis when it passes by in 2029, based on observations and computations. But Apophis is just one potentially hazardous object, hurtling through our solar system. Thousands of these items are drifting around out there, but it turns out that there isn't much we can do about it. Furthermore, all asteroid mitigations options are currently theoretical rather than actual and operational. Scientists are considering many methods for potentially interfacing with an asteroid's route towards Earth. One strategy involves erecting a barrier between the rock and the planet in the goal of slowing the invader down just enough to keep the planet safe. However, doing so would necessitate a series of precise space trips over a few months. Scientists are exploring using lasers to slow down dangerous asteroids just enough so that the Earth and the intruder avoid hitting each other. Unfortunately, all of this is theoretical, and no actual asteroid avoidance technology exists or is being developed. And it's a matter of when, not if, an Apophis size or a larger space rock, with Earth's name and its address bar, hits this region of the solar system. There are currently no plans to visit Apophis. Several missions are being considered, including one at the Apophis T9 Years Workshop in November 2020. In response to the Planetary Science Decadal Survey, the Planetary Society requested missions to Apophis. The Planetary Society held a $50,000 Apophis mission design competition in 2007 and 2008 to create a mission that would help us better understand Apophis's orbit. Apophis is presently in an area of the sky that cannot be seen from Earth, and it will stay that way until we see it again in 2029. What are your thoughts regarding Apophis? Share your views in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to stay connected. We'll see you in a new video. Take care.